So Mark, thank you so much for interviewing with me today. Absolutely. We're here to talk about Ask What Could Be the Harm. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me a little bit about Glenn. Uh, Glenn is uh, basically the head of the uh, Association of Serial Killers. He is the, uh, the founder and the originator of the group. Um, and he gathers, uh, kind of handpicks uh, all of these serial killers one by one to be in this group. And he eventually uh, picks out uh, our new character in the series, which sets the whole series in motion. So, right. Yeah. So now, um, in speaking with, with Julie Simpson, the creator and director, yes. um, I know some of you guys have a little bit of a backstory mm -hmm. that she may have shared, but for the most part, you don't really know <laughs> much, yeah, right? she's being very secretive. <laughs> so did she share anything with you at all about Glenn? Or? She didn't share a lot with me. I, I, she seemed to be very purposeful yeah. in doing that. Um, uh, I think she's, you know, she she told me she just kind of hinted to me. She was like, "There's there's a lot coming down the down the pipe with Glenn," right. um, and even the stuff that she did tell me, I'm kind of like, "Well, I probably I don't I shouldn't really tell it because they're they're reveals for of things course. later down of the course. line yeah. uh, that happened in the series." Um, so, but the way she wrote him, you know, was very clear. Uh, the read that I gave for the character in the initial audition really didn't change from what I think is going to be on screen. I, when I read the part, I had a very clear, like, no, this is who this guy is. This is what he sounds like. This is what, you know, this is how he carries himself. This is who he is. I had a very, very strong uh, feeling for who the character was. So it's pretty much stuck that, that way from beginning to, beginning to end. So. And that's one of the things I was going to ask you is... Um, <clears throat> What attracted you to Glenn? Um, I liked. I mean, there, there's a, there's a stillness to him. That uh, there's a stillness and a calm to him that I really like. There's almost, he's very much. He's he's kind of a gentleman, um, and I thought that that was a very interesting take on the character. Uh, on the whole idea of a serial killer, like this person who's kind of like, no, we can, we can carry ourselves with dignity and, right. you know, with self-respect and, you know, <laughs> with, uh, with uh, creativity. And, you know, even though from, from a comedic standpoint, you know, it is very funny in that fact that he is very actually kind of pleasant and very kind of kind to a certain extent, there really, there was, was slash is this undercurrent uh, for Glenn that's, that, you know, is sinister and that he is, can be, if needs be, you know, vicious. Right. You know, and will be. Right. Uh, if he has to be. And that as well, trying to merge those two, I, I found, you know, interesting and, and kind of the best challenge for the project because really trying to marry the comedy with, with a sense of realism that you kind of do have to believe even though a lot of our characters and a lot of the people who are in Ask, you know, they are very, you know, they are comedic and they are kind of, you know, they're, they're very strong types, everybody who's in the group. Sure. You do have to kind of like, and even when we were shooting it, I was like, it's, it's a very fine line because you do have to, you know, find the realism in it and you do, you know, it does have to come from a kind of grounded place sure. that you can believe that these people, you know, there has, there had to be legitimate fear, um, for, uh, um, for, you know, for our, for our hero, so to speak, walking sure. into this kind of, you know, pit of vipers. So. Right, yeah. yeah. And one thing, um, that we do learn, um, and again, this isn't giving too much away by saying this, because I don't even know when some of these things are revealed, but mm -hmm. we do, we do learn a little bit in, in the pilot that some of the other ASK members, they have a specific yes. type of Yeah, a way kill. of, yeah. Um, with Glenn, yeah. we don't know. Yeah, yeah. And that's purposeful, I'm taking it. I, yeah, I mean, I, again, it's one of those things with Julie that I, she's kind of hinted to me that it's going to be kind of down the line, that there's going to be yeah. a reveal for that. 
But I also get the feeling, you know, and I talked to Julie about this at one point, I was like, I kind of get the feeling that he's the master of all, you know, he actually is kind of a jack of all trades and master of all trades to a certain extent of like, he knows how to do them all. Like, and, and that I think uh, I said at one point, um, that I was like, I really think he kind of looks at killing as an art form and that, you know, all these different methods that you can kill people with are just different colors in the palette. Sure. And depending on what you use, it can actually be very beautiful. Right. Um, and so, so yeah, I think Glenn has the ability to kill in any number of ways. Mm -hmm. And my feeling is, my belief is, is that when he does kill, how he kills is very quiet. Mm -hmm. But it's also probably very creative. Mm -hmm. Like it's like he leaves a picture, or he sure. leaves. You know, there is a the way he leaves a body, or the way that he mm -hmm. goes about it. There's always a message for the people who are supposed to find what they find. Sure. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. How was it? Um, tell me a little bit about the writing. That was one of the things I know when I was with you guys. You're very well, not your first, but I think your second reading you guys did mm -hmm. as a cast just hilarious yeah. but also quick like there you know it's nothing feels drawn out nothing feels like it could really be cut out yeah I mean I think you know all of us when we when we did the read um, and I think again I think in one of the other interviews we they went with all of the actors together we kind of talked about this in that you know because web series and because you know in the internet and everything is becoming so popular because it's becoming so, uh, you know, the, the, the amount of content is just kind of, you know, burgeoning out of control to sure. a certain extent. So many of the projects that all of us get, you know, you, you know as soon as you read the script, it's like, no. You know, it's like, or you'll go to a first read and you'll get the cast and you'll go like, no. Yeah. And this was one of those ones that when we all kind of said this, that we were like, we, we read the script, and it was like, huh, this actually kind of works. I don't even know how this kind of works, but it does work. Yeah. And then we all got together, and, like, the cast was like, we're like, this is perfect. This is, like, kind of perfectly cast. Everybody really kind of seems perfectly at home in the role that they've been cast in. Right. And uh, so, it's, so it's a nice marriage. Yeah. And Julie, you know, she has. She's written a very streamlined script. Um, there's not a lot of fuss, mm -mm. you know, there's not a lot of extraneous stuff. Everything's there kind of pretty particularly for a purpose right? that I can see. Yeah. Um, and it's just clean, you know, it's like, it's, it's just clean and it's believable. You know, it's like, right. even though it's a comedy and even though it's, you know, dark, <laughs> uh, well, it's both dark, but it's like, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, it's dark, but it's also kind of a screwball comedy. It I is. mean, it really is kind of very, in, you know, in the vein of like, you know, those 70s, like, you know, Chevy Chase type films and stuff like that, where you get right. this character who's just kind of like a fish out of water. Right. Um, and, you know, the way Adrian plays the role, it's perfect because it's just, he really is. He's completely, you know, just frenetic and out, you know, he's just, you totally buy it. Sure. Um, um, and so that's the thing. It's like, I think she did a really, really great job of, of marrying a humor that, yes, it's very dark, but at the same time, it's also very kind of wacky. Right. Um, which is not easy. You know, right. it's not an easy task. It's yeah. not easy to do, but I think she did a great job with it. I do too, yeah. Tell me a little bit about working with the other cast. I mean, obviously, so much of your work has been with Damien, who's Adrian. Yeah, exactly. Um, but you, I mean, gosh, I think you were there every day <laughs> mm -hmm, pretty much, for, yeah. for um, filming. So I mean, all of them, everybody in the ass group. I mean, we 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 just it just fit. Yeah, everything just fit. Like we all kind of sat down together when we did the first group scene. You know, it just just the way that we played off of each other. It was like, no, this is perfect. Right. This is fantastic. Um, and yeah, the scenes with, uh, with Adrian, with Damien, uh, were, and it was funny because I never read with him in the audition and I didn't, you know, and I knew that he was on the production side of it, but I actually didn't know that he was playing 
Oh, Damien. Okay. I didn't know. And then we showed up and it was like, oh, okay, oh, he's playing Damien. Okay, cool. But we sat down and I mean, from moment one, like just the first moment that we read, it's like our, our styles are very similar. Our mm -hmm. pace, I think, is very similar. How we read comedy is very similar. And it's fantastic. Yeah. When that happens, you know, it doesn't always happen. <laughs> I was and, just going to say that. Yeah, it doesn't always happen. You know, when sometimes it can really, you know, it, it can really just be a grind of trying to find right. a rhythm and, right. and a pacing. And Adrian and I just completely from moment one and all of our scenes fell right into pace with each other. It was like sure. a piece of cake. It wouldn't even work. You That's know, it's great. like, which you love. You know, whenever that can happen, it's like, oh. When you don't God. have to do a million takes. I would have guessed you guys have known each other for years. You know. It kind of felt like that. Yeah. It, it kind of felt like we had, at the very least, worked together before yeah. and stuff like that. But, it, you know, none of us had, you know. Um, so we got lucky. You know, yeah. it's like the... Uh, the creative gods were kind to us. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were phenomenal as Glenn. Thank you. You are, not just were, are. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I'm really excited for people to be able to experience you guys and, and see this. So, well, thank you so much for your time today. Absolutely. Thank you.